first of all, Shalom Harlow. Like, what a good name. You know what I mean? Like, Shalom Harlow. Welcome to another moment on the Malcolm Sories channel, where we celebrate everything beautiful, fabulous, and a little ridiculous. <laughs> Click subscribe down below to become a part of the moment. You guys have been telling me in the comments about Shalom Harlow ever since over a year ago when I did the Yasmin versus Naomi video. I do a lot of 90s fashion show reactions right here on my channel, which has really opened my eyes and broadened my horizons to a lot of the girls in the 90s who we already knew about and a lot of the girls who we didn't. So I feel like it's somewhat my responsibility to do my due diligence and circle back on the girls who deserve their flowers. By all means, move at a glacial pace, you know? how that thrills me. Shalom Harlow is an actual supermodel icon, and um, we're about to find out why. So I watched the Todd Oldham Spring 94 show. She actually had a really funny moment in the Spring 95 show where she basically like tripped up Amber Valletta and just like completely walked ahead of her. I guess she wasn't walking fast enough for her. She was moving slower than usual. We're gonna watch the runway collection on the Supermodels YouTube channel. If you know any fun facts about Shalom Harlow or have like a fun Shalom Harlow story, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm just here to watch the walk. I wanna see some movement up in this bitch! Come on, bring it! Yeah, Shalom's walk was very definitive. She did not have a problem with giving attitude on the runway. I'm pretty sure that's probably why she was hired. Lots of personality, lots of spunk, very memorable. Right, I saw her in this Versace show. Very sleek, um, very known for dark hair, I feel like. I don't, right, so you see what I'm saying? All of the energy that you need. Beyonce did a song called Energy on her Renaissance album. I feel like, yeah, energy. Right. <laughs> she can also give you very classic, very slicked back, very chic. Ooh, yeah. Very Dita Von Teese, very pinup. Absolutely. Right, but also like, you know, um, Jane and Tarzan, you know? Like, yeah, I'm dating Indiana Jones, but I make my own money. You know what I mean? Is her name airbrushed on the t-shirt? This is Todd Oldham, so this is all super fun and funky. Yeah, a little intercultural. She's every woman. Put her in any kind of garment and she's going to sell it. She reminds me of Dita Von Teese a little bit when they do this little um, finger wave moment in her hair. But, uh, oh, well, now, oh, now she's giving me uh, brunette Kesha vibes, chameleons. You have to be a chameleon as a supermodel, you know, because a lot of these girls, I always say, like, sometimes I don't recognize them in these shows. Like, that doesn't look like Shalom Harlow to me. But that bob is everything. It's messy and disheveled and iconic. Oh, they really put her in the hair pieces, huh? Love the clueless with the matching gloves. Like, yeah, quintessential 90s. Isaac Mizrahi. I don't think anyone's requested a Mizrahi uh, reaction. Yeah, put her in a pelt with a hood. Look at this full runway walk. It's literally like the most polarizing thing you could ever see. But Shalom to me had a lot more balance. She wasn't always trying to do the most. But when she had to, she'll give it to you. This metallic blue color, I'm just, I'm obsessed with this right now. I need this entire, yeah. I need, I need all of that. Look at it, the way that her legs cross over each other when she's walking. It's so effortless. Yeah. I'm your Barbie doll, but also don't ever play with me. And you're late for the board meeting again, Tom. It's okay. I have plans after this anyway. <laughs> right. Ooh, Mysterioso. Okay, here's another one on the Runway Collection YouTube channel. I love this channel. Back to the 90s. Yeah, she's very stoic here. She keeps it very poised, very classy. Wow, so bare-faced. I like her with long, straight hair, too. Really pretty. Oh! 
I know this isn't her in this big ruffled organza moment delivering all of the fantasy. Wait, is this Shalom? So theatrical. I didn't realize that she was so... Oh. Yeah, right. Maleficent giving high fashion couture. Mm-hmm. Predator in the jungle wearing red lipstick. Organza. I literally feel like I'm looking at a different person every single time. She's a straight up chameleon. She's really effortless, but she's really fierce. No one's gonna be looking at anybody else if you're walking next to this girl on the street. If you're walking next to Shalom Harlow, you're not gonna get any attention. Look at Amber. She just knew her little polka dots weren't gonna do nothing. Oh, Order of the Phoenix. She was couture. She was ready to wear. She was androgynous. A really, really versatile runway model. Yeah, Parisian, European vibes. I'll give you that as well. It's nothing. And the face can never be clocked. Yeah, get one good final look. My husband divorced me, but I'll go to his funeral anyway. Lots of different looks. Mm-hmm. In her element. Absolutely. This is her in her element. Because Miss Tyra Banks just had her little time. But honey, I have <laughs> the drape. Uh-huh. Take the shot. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Shalom, Harlow. Don't ever play. Yeah, that walk is really the one. Very confident, like, you know, it's just very poised and erect. I really enjoy her, her posture. I've seen her in almost every hairstyle imaginable at this point. Center part, long straight, I've seen a ponytail, I've seen bad wigs, I've seen short and curly, I've seen natural. Like, what? Ooh. Mushroom. This Bob I'm actually enjoying, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen all I've needed to see. Thank you for the request because Shalom Harlow really leaves an impression. If you have any other reaction requests, pop culture, fashion, anything that you want to see from me, you leave it in the comments and we'll always circle back. Click subscribe down below and hopefully I will see you in the next video, in the next experience, and in the next moment. Such a good name. You gotta have a good name if you're gonna be a supermodel. Because there's nothing super about someone named like Brittany White. You know what I mean? No shade to anybody named Brittany White. You're beautiful and you're worthy. I'm just saying. You're probably not a supermodel.